Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's video is going to be a long range outlook. This is getting recorded a little bit earlier. I think it is, yeah, it's Saturday at 9.30 p.m. And uh, hopefully that um, won't distract you at all because it really doesn't make that big of a difference since this is a long range outlook. Um, it looks as if the cooler temperatures will return and it will stay for about the next week, but then uh, we could start seeing a possible warm-up again. Um, I don't know if it will be a heat wave or anything of that sort. I just know that it will be, um, I think, at this point, it may warm up again. Uh, that's still far-fetched, though. Uh, but at this point, we'll focus on the cool weather um, and the long range. So if you want to subscribe to this channel, you could consider doing so after watching the video. It uh, really helps this channel grow. It helps me, let, it helps me know... Uh, whether you like these videos or not you could also consider liking the video as well and today's a little bit different i want to ask you guys something so listen up quickly i want to ask you guys um a couple of questions or just one question if you have any video ideas for me in terms of because i always do during the fall and winter these uh, these question answers like what will fall look like or will it be a cold winter will it be a cold fall how you know how much snow will you get like if you want any of those questions answered come up with questions that you want to be answered and i'll possibly consider them i'm not saying i will do them but i'll possibly consider them so please leave your answers in the comments below helps me out a lot so right now if you look at the gfs model we'll start off with the gfs don't worry we'll go to a different model soon um but if we go uh starting off at the GFS, we could see that uh, right now we still have that heat wave going on. Uh, it's starting to die down. The cooler air is starting to push in the high pressure from Canada. And this really brings the temperatures down for quite a good chunk of the country. If we were to look at the anomalies, you would be able to see blue temperatures or blue colors all across um, this area in the Midwest. Anywhere you see this high pressure and these lines, um, this basically indicates that cooler air is rushing in. It's a basically an Arctic attack kind of during the summer, obviously on a much lesser scale, but definitely a pattern change is underway. And if we were to look uh, further, it doesn't, you know, you could see it kind of disappears. That high pressure goes away, moves off, and we go into more of a zonal flow. But not quite because it's not going to be, it doesn't look to be ridiculously warm as there's going to be these small higher, these smaller high pressures trying to get in. They won't be as successful, I think. You can see right there, uh, there's one. Um, potentially bringing some cooler air, but we will have to see. I mean, these model uh, model runs are changing uh, on the ba you know every with every model run. So at this point, what I can say is 100% is that the heat wave will come to an end. The ridiculously hot temperatures will come to an end. You will either either return to average if you live in the eastern United States, or more likely below average for the next week. I would say safely. After that, however, it's a gamble. It looks as if it could warm up, but this cooler weather could stay a little bit longer, and we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with that. Um, this is what we're on on right now is a GFS 2 meter temperature anomaly, and this is in Celsius. So whatever you see is in Celsius. So you could see that several of these several of these locations you could see that are uh, in this pink are eight. 12 10 degrees below average in terms of celsius so um, i don't know what that would be in terms of fahrenheit 10 degrees celsius i'm thinking uh, I, don't, I have no idea actually 10 degrees celsius probably i don't know uh 10 degrees below uh i'm trying to think of it right now but i think i know what it is but i don't want to give you a false answer um so uh, I don't want to misinform you, but you can see that if we go further on and on into this time frame, it goes and it goes further and further south. By Monday, it covers much of the country. Um, if you look by Sunday, which when this video will be out, it's already covering a good chunk of the northern northern country. Sorry about that, I just yawned. But northern country and North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Montana, Wyoming are all already cooling off. You can see during the night, um, the cool off is not as prominent in terms of the fact that the nights will be more equal to average, closer to average. But then look during the day, it really contrasts that anomaly. I mean, look at that. Some of that, that's again, that's like 12 degrees below average in terms of Celsius, which is quite a big chunk. 
um, uh, quite a big temperature drop from what we've been seeing. And you can see it, this is the funny or cool thing about this. Um, it, it, the cool thing about it that the cool weather will reach all the way down to the Gulf Coast. You can see Texas, Louisiana, and uh, anywhere you live in Texas, you'll most likely feel cooler weather. Uh, Georgia, Alabama, uh, all those states will be fairly chilly, it seems, or you know, chilly by summer standards, below average. So definitely, some much wanted relief and you can see that it stays about there for uh till next sunday i'm pretty you know i'm pretty confident about that for about a week but then it starts withering away you could see it's a little bit cooler a little bit warmer in some spots now you could see by northern minnesota and southern north dakota northern north dakota just or northern south dakota starting to warm up including kansas and parts of the northeast and this seems to be on the rise, possibly a little bit cooler with maybe a, you know, straight thunderstorm complex or two, which brings a cooler air in from the higher, uh, higher altitudes. But look at that. That's above average during the night, a little bit cooler during the day, and you can see it, it starts easing up. However, this is not set in stone because I think this is only the second model run that's showing this uh, the previous ones weren't showing this you could see that then possibly another arctic or arctic <laughs> another um summer chilly blast of air coming into the country just not as successful though as the previous one uh if we were to go say to the 6z i think it was showing something different uh yeah you could see that it did show the initial cool off the the week of chilly temperatures um this is july 28th so still chilly but and you notice how it's um there's gonna be a, it shows a reinforcing shot of cold air on sunday so let's take a look at this <sighs> notice how this one's starting to die off but then we see another new one from the north see that's the difference between those so that's just one model one that i just showed you this is another one you could see it's showing cool air way past the week and now this is already tuesday wednesday still chilly and then possibly warming up um, maybe um, in two weeks from now so uh, you can see there's a lot of differences and still chilly up to the north uh, but then if we look at the 12z um, I think this one is the best like I mentioned the 12z because if it has the least cold biased and it has uh, the least warm biased so I think that the most cold biased one uh, in terms of the GFS I just I've just been noticing it this uh, this year that is that 18z usually shows the warmer run of the day and this uh the 00z is usually the colder run of the day the coldest and along with 6z so i think 12z is like that fine balance and if you look at 12z it's still showing those chilly temperatures and really the the one that we just had is really the only one that's showing um the showing the warm temperatures but of course if we were to go on to the climate prediction center um, they're showing uh, warmer temperatures with high confidence, which I'm not buying yet, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. This is the ensemble of the GFS, which is a family of um, uh, GFS models. Sorry about that. You can see they're all confident on the fact that it'll be below average for into uh, for next week or into next week, a week time frame. And then uh, possibly again, you can see some warmth getting in, but then during the day, it's a little more chilly. So it's like a very unique pattern. But notice how it's still chilly up here, and we could be possibly seeing another reinforcing shot of cooler air. Just less confidence, obviously, as it's further out. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely definitely not be like the Climate Prediction Center and be confident in the fact that it's going to be warmer. Um, I just don't like it. They're pretty arrogant about what they do, and you could just see it through their forecast. But, um, anyways, you could see that even the European model is showing some troughs later on after uh, this main one right here. Uh, which cools off the good part of the country we see another one possibly trying to make its way you could see into the northern parts of the country so uh, that's uh, the european model is a little bit less uh cons you know, cons there's a little bit more conservative with the with the warmth and not so aggressive with the cold which leads me to think why that's the climate prediction center why they think it's going to be warmer which is definitely a possibility but uh, we'll just have to wait and see at this point again i'm confident on the fact that it will be a week of chilly weather below average and then afterwards uh there's two possibilities a warm-up nothing at this point doesn't seem too drastic no heat wave 
could be one though um or it could be uh reinforced with another shot of cooler air which could lead to um more chilly air so thank you guys so much for watching consider liking the video consider subscribing to the channel and i'll catch you all guys in the next episode see ya bye